In this lecture snippet, I want to download Bulk Extractor and I want to install it on my Ubuntu operating system so that I can carve out information from my Windows hard drive that I have attached to this computer. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser and I'll navigate over to the Advanced Forensics Format Library page, which is afflib.org. I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter and we're going to look for the download page for Bulk Extractor. And you can see that currently they've moved it to GitHub to hold their files. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on the link that they provided for Bulk Extractor. And we're going to look for the tarball file that's been zipped up. So it's going to end in a tar.gz. And there it is. After scrolling down, I can find the current release. And there's the tar.gz file. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And we're going to go ahead and download this to our computer. So I'm going to choose to save file and I'll choose OK. And then I'll just download it to my downloads folder for Ubuntu. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I also want to scroll down a little bit further because you're going to find information on how to actually configure or compile this as well as install it onto our computer. And if I scroll down far enough, I'll find that there are some dependencies that I'll need to install on Ubuntu. And there it is, installing dependencies on Ubuntu. And I'm going to need to run this command here, sudo apt-get, and we're going to install a few things that we see listed here on Ubuntu before I actually try to set up Bulk Extractor. So I'm going to right click on this and choose copy. Now I'm going to minimize my browser and pull open my terminal. And I can right click here in the terminal and paste that information I just copied. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And I'll need to type in my administrative password. And we're going to go through this process of actually installing these dependencies first. And once it's finished, we will return back to the terminal prompt. And so now I'm going to go ahead and look at that file that I actually downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and click on my folder on the left hand side here to browse for files and folders on my computer. And I'm going to choose the downloads folder. And that's where the default destination is for my downloads using Firefox. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the file that I have, this tarball. And I'm going to choose to extract the information here. And you'll see that it creates a folder. And if I double click inside the folder, I'll see all the required information that I need to configure and install this application for my computer. So I'm going to go ahead now and just close out of the folder. And let's go back to the terminal. I'm currently in my home directory. And I can see that with the tilde here. So I'm going to navigate over to the downloads folder. So I'll just type in CD and then the downloads. And I'll go ahead and hit enter and I'm now in the downloads folder. I'll run the ls command just to list the options that I have in there and I can see that I have bulk extractor as a folder. It's going to be the one in blue. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do cd. And we'll do bulk and then I'll just use the tab key to auto complete that and I'll go ahead and hit enter and now I'm currently in that folder. So if I run an ls command again you can see all that information that I saw inside of the bulk extractor folder. Now to actually install it onto our computer I'm going to first need to run the configure, which is going to be the period, forward slash, and then configure. And I'll go ahead and hit enter after I type in the period, forward slash, configure. And it will take a moment for this to run through. And once again, once I return to the terminal prompt, I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to run the make command now, just make, M-A-K-E. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And again, it will take a moment or two for it to run through this. And once I return back to the terminal prompt, I just have one more command left to use. And this is a quick one. And I'll have to run this as the root user. So I'll type in sudo make install. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And it's already completed. So now we've successfully installed Bulk Extractor on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and type in clear just to clean up the terminal. And let's go ahead and look at the manual page for Bulk Extractor. So I'm going to type in man and then Bulk Extractor. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to see that I'll have to have an output directory. So you'll see the bulk extractor. I've got the dash O option to use for the output directory. I can run any options that I want to run. And then I've got the image that I actually want to scan or carve information out of. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down through here. And you can see there's quite a few different options that we have to run. I'm going to use the default bulk extractor command. So I'm actually going to just press Q to quit out of the man page. And let's go ahead and navigate back over to my desktop. So I'm going to go CD. I'll run the tilde for the home directory, forward slash, and then desktop. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And let's go ahead and first see what this Windows hard drive is labeled as for my devices. So I'm going to run sudo fdisk-l. I'll go ahead and hit enter. 
and I can see that this device that holds the Windows NTFS hard drive partition is going to be SDB1. And so I'll go ahead and type in clear. And let's run bulk extractor. I'm going to run sudo because I'm going to be dealing with a device interface. Bulk extractor. And then we're going to go ahead and do the dash O for the output folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and just call this one output. And then I'm going to also go ahead and do the forward slash DEV forward slash SDB1 which was that partition of the Windows hard drive that I actually want to run bulk extractor on. I'll go ahead and hit enter and you can see that it's beginning the process of extracting that information and it's going to keep running through. You will see that there's a lock on this folder and that's because we ran this as sudo so when I'm all said and done I will want to run the chmod command to change the permissions of the folder but we're going to let this run through and I'll come back when this is done extracting information from the hard drive. Bulk extractor is finished now and I've returned back to the terminal. It took about six and a half hours for it to run. You can see that it ended at 2316 and it started at 1641. So it took about six and a half hours to run through a 60 gig hard drive and it pulled out a lot of information. I'm going to go ahead and change the permissions for the output folder right now so that I can have full permissions for it. So I'll just run the sudo and I'm going to do chmod. I'm going to do the capital R for the recursive and 777 and then the output folder and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and it'll change those permissions when I type in the administrative password there we go and you can see that the lock has now been removed from that so I have full permissions for this so I'm going to go ahead and close this now let's take a look at the output folder and you can see that I've got quite a bit of information in here it pulled out AES keys any kind of encryption keys that it found there credit card numbers you'll see email addresses you'll see domain names you'll see JPEG information, you're going to find GPS information if there was any, and if you just keep going through the list there's quite a bit of information that gets extracted, even telephone numbers and email addresses, URLs, and so there's quite a bit of information. I'll pull up just this uh, credit card text. I'm going to go ahead and say display. And we'll take a quick look at it. You can see that it listed any numbers that I can find that resembled credit card numbers. Now this is a default installation of Windows and so everything you see in here is straight off of an installation of Windows. But I will show you that this number here resembles a credit card number so it went ahead and pulled that information out. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the offset here and I'll let you know that if I want to find this particular file or find this information within the hard drive, this is the offset for the hard drive. and when and that is in decimal format so I would need to convert this number over to hexadecimal number and I'll show you here if I go back to the terminal I'm going to go ahead and type in clear and I'll go ahead and use this this number here that we see and I'll go ahead and pull up my hex editor which I have installed on my computer sudo hex edit and I'm going to go ahead and do the forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 and I'll pull up in that partition and I'm going to search for this based on the hexadecimal offset so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and I need the position for it and I've converted that over like I said to hexadecimal so if I type in 7b 2131 which is the hexadecimal value for this decimal number and I hit enter and I look at my information you'll find the beginning of that number so 546 and if I go ahead and scroll down a little further you'll see the rest of that number pulled out here and so it read that number as a possible credit card number and you can see that information there and I've been able to find it. There's a lot of valuable information when you use bulk extractor and I would encourage you to look through this information and see what kind of data can be pulled from either your computer or from a forensics image.